Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and today I am going to discuss the problem uh, problem palindrome partitioning its index is 131 and it is the medium type problem of the lead code okay so like uh, okay so before proceeding further I just want to, you guys to over over the section like similar questions you can find on the same page okay you are going to see a palindromic partitioning second and the problem palindromic partitioning fourth okay so like uh, this problem is the hard version of this problem and again the another hard version palindrome partitioning 4 so if you guys haven't solved this second one and the fourth one after this problem then i will recommend you to solve this one because these problem are the variations of the actual problem this one and it is quite interesting okay and also uh, there is one video uploaded already on my channel for this problem palindrome partitioning second actually this problem has already appeared in august lead code challenge previous year so if you are stuck upon that then you are going to find my video on my channel and that will help you guys to solve this problem okay so you can see that uh, uh, yes I, have, I haven't solved this problem right now but uh, i have uh, approached the hard version of this problem you can see uh, date is uh, 2022 and it is like 1 uh, 5th of january okay and uh, uh, last time i have solved this on 7th of august 2021 okay so uh, like this problem has already been appeared and this was the like tough uh, toughest one and i have solved it right now you can see that uh, the date over here okay so i'm not going to discuss this uh, these two problems but these are quite interesting so i have recommended you guys to solve this problem okay and there is one of the video on my channel if you are stuck upon that then you can refer to there okay so so how we are going to solve this problem so this is actually an easier version given a string s and we have to partition s such that every substring of the partition is a palindrome okay and return all possible palindrome partitioning of s okay so we have to return the like all the possible ways to partition our actual string so you can see the string here is a a b okay and uh, we are going to partition it like that every single uh, like every substring of length one you can see a a and b you can see that every substring in this partition is already a palindrome so this is a valid partitioning of the actual original string and similarly you can see that this is also a valid partitioning because if i will first partition the first two like pick out the substring of first two uh, like length equal to 2 and the remaining substring you can see that every substring is a palindrome so this is also a valid partitioning okay so we have to return all the possible partitioning of our actual original string so if you haven't understood this problem right now no need to worry about i will explain with the help of some other examples also okay so talking about the constraints you can see that the maximum length of string is going to be 16 as also you can see if we have to return the all possible uh, palindrome partitioning of our actual string you must have to traverse and check it out every substring and whether this substring can be appended to some other substring to the left of it or to the right of it so we have to check it out for every cases so picking up a character from the our actual string will have the two choices either to include this character or to like include this character or just end up our substring right here right now so we have two choices so uh, the total number of iterations would be around 2 raised to the power 16 okay so we are going to use a backtracking recursive solution to find out all palindromic partitioning of s okay so let's head over to some examples and understand this problem in some easier way okay okay so i think yeah it's okay yeah so how we are going to solve this one it is like uh, okay so we have some string like a a b b b b and some c c c okay so if we have been asked to find out all the palindromic partitioning of s you need to divide the actual substring like actual string into some parts okay so how we are going to do that suppose we have divided this one and we have divided this one and we have divided this one so our string would be like a a then b b b and followed by triple c so this is a valid partitioning of the actual string and the number of partition is exactly two okay uh, yeah two so we have to include this 
uh, vector of strings into odd answer there can be multiple partitioning you can see i can still partition this one into two parts so it should be like a a okay and uh, again this can be partitioned into many ways like uh, of length one and length two combinations length three combinations so on we have to report all those okay so how we are going to do that so the very first way is to use a recursive solution how we are going to form the recursive solution so it is like this one so what we are going to do is suppose we have a temporary string being the empty one initially and we will first append this character okay so after appending this character right here right now we will check it out that if my temporary string is a palindrome if my temporary string is a palindrome so we will just uh, include this uh, string like temp uh, temporary string into our answer this can be our answer still we don't know that this will lead to a correct answer so we will include the single a and for the rest of the strings we will do the same operations by making this temporary string as null like uh, making this as again the empty string and then again we will check it out for the uh, remaining substring that is after that okay and also you can note that there are two choices right here right now what i have done is like if the current string temporary string is a palindrome we will just include them into our temporary vector of string as our answer and for the rest of the strings right from there we will just make the temporary string clear it out make it an empty string and check for the rest of the strings in a recursive fashion there is another uh, choice is like we don't uh, like it doesn't depend upon that whether our temporary string is a palindrome or not we will just include the next character that is we will not stop it over here we will just include two a's okay and we will check it out for the remaining this part of substring to the right of it okay and so on we are going to do and whenever uh, we are end up with all the strings we will check it out that uh, whatever the like whether the, my temporary string is like empty at this position we will include all those partitionings like a b b c c c okay so let me take an example and uh, we'll show you guys how this is going to be done okay so suppose uh, we have this one and we have this one so suppose that my temporary string is up to here and it is storing these two characters okay so at this position what i can do is i have two choices okay what are the two choices i will include these these two a a into my vector of strings as our answer and another choice is like go for the next character a a b okay so after storing this one my temporary string would become empty okay my temporary string would become empty and here my temporary string would become this value this is string okay so in the next step there is again uh, like uh, there are two ways you can see uh, again here also my answer is up to this one is a and again i have at this position i can choose this b into my temporary string or i can just uh, uh, leave it out or move to the empty string so each time we have two options so what will happen when we end up to this string so there are cases like we have like here you can see we have a so similarly we have a and again we can have b b and again we have similarly again of b or there can be multiple combinations of the length again we can have a cc or we can have a c or we can have a c so whenever we have we are done with this original string you are going to find this as temporary string as empty empty and whenever you are going to find this as empty you will push back all those combinations this will be a valid partitioning okay if you are not understanding this right now no need to worry about i will just code it up and show you guys how this can be done easily okay so like there are some like uh, Uh, difficulties in explaining the backtracking problem solutions okay so it will be better if i will just uh, code it out and will show you guys how this can be done in the best possible way okay so so let me copy this so there is no need to uh yeah 
so how we are going to done so there will be a answer that will store the answer so vector of vector strings okay that will store the answer and uh, like uh, we are going to store the temporary strings like uh, for the current partitions also at each step so that will store like a vector of strings that will be stored in this vector of string let's say called, called as current okay and we will records for every index index starting with zero and we have a uh, like uh, we have a temporary string which is empty initially and passing the actual string and passing the vector of string current which will store the valid partition okay and if we are done with this we will return the answer okay so the main part is how do we do we write recursive function so void recurs so my current index will be int index and this will be temporary string that will store the some substring of our original string and this will be string s and this will store the partition up to the current index so we will have to take the reference okay so we can also skip that part but it will increase uh, like increase the complexity memory limit okay so what will happen if index reaches the strings length like we are done with this one okay so if we are done with this one and if we found that temporary string is empty it means that we have already like skipped like we have already taken all these valid partitions okay so how do we explain that like uh, suppose uh, uh, yeah so suppose we have a b b b and c c c suppose we have uh, uh, taken this substring after this one you will say that a will be pushed back into my current vector and again the temporary string become empty and suppose again we have taken this substring so temporary string will become b b b and we will push back into our vector of string which is current so a and uh, it will be followed by uh, b b b and again here temporary string will become empty and we will pick up this substring then it will be like c c c and this will be entire contained in the current uh, vector vector of strings and after that you will find that temporary string is again empty empty it means that till now we have all the valid partitions you can see this is a palindrome this is a palindrome and this is also a palindrome okay so when we will find this as empty we will just push back into our answer answer dot push back current and we will return okay so and uh, uh, what will happen if like after that we uh, we have two choices choices like we will just include this in like uh, current character into our temporary string we will just do temp dot push back as of index so okay so we are not going to write this over here then i will just write down first choice first choice will be just uh, go go with the next character so we will write down recurs index plus 1 and we will have temporary string and we will have s and we will have current okay so we are not going to like check it out that whatever the string that is contained in the temporary string is a palindrome or not and we are going to push back into the current vector we are not going to do that just go with the next character okay and there are there is an, another choice also second choice and what is that second choice then we will just uh, check it out that whatever the string contained in the temporary string is a palindrome or not if is palindrome temp means whatever it is the substring of some original like substring of the original string and if it is a palindrome we have the uh, another choice like clear the temporary string push back the uh, whatever the string that is contained over here into my current and just go with the next character okay so i will just current dot push back temporary string and uh, for the next part uh, is like i will just do recurs and will be the index plus 1 and temporary string will be cleared s and this current what will happen when the recursion will end we'll have to just pop it back okay 
now you guys must be wondering that what is is palindrome temp okay so we are going to just have a function over here also boolean function boolean is palindrome that will take a string s and with that will check it out if the string is a palindrome or not you guys can do easily if s of i is not equal to s of s dot length minus i minus 1 then we will just return false otherwise it will be returned true okay uh, yeah I think this should work fine let me just check it out let me just first run the code mm -hmm. Yeah, it is giving correct. Uh, I don't know. It's taking time. Yeah, it has passed. Okay. So what will be the complexity of this solution? Okay. So let's talk about the complexity. Complexity will be like time complexity uh, would be like uh, O of 2 raised to the power N. Time complexity will be o of 2 raised to the power n and the space complexity what will be the space complexity will be the length of a string plus recursive stack if we consider that okay so this will be the time complexity so if you guys have any doubts in this problem or the problem that I mentioned over here like palindrome partitioning second the video is present on my channel also so you can refer to that okay or the like the palindrome partitioning for you can mention in the comment section and I will help you guys okay so thank you for watching this video.